Laura here and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a flip through of this massive shabby chic book. This is the biggest book I have ever made and probably will be the biggest book I've made for a very long time. This took me months <laughs> to make. I wanted to challenge myself by doing a shabby chic journal as it's something I've never really delved into and it was definitely a challenge. I think the fact that I was also challenging myself with the large size didn't help. Um, I tend to just barrel into things without thinking and yeah it took me a while. Um, so I do actually have the measurements for once. Um, so this is 13 inches, uh, 13 and a half inches by 10 inches. So 13 and a half by 10 with a two and a half inch spine. It has 164 plus pages and the snippet roll is 95 inches which is also roughly two and a half meters. So first time for everything, <laughs> finally remembered to measure everything before I started filming. So the snippet roll is the closure and it does completely come off. Like I said it's about two and a half meters and it wraps around the book two or three times, I can't remember. And then it's just kind of held in place by this little clip here, which I will remove. Um, so, close it before I get snipped. Um, it has a couple of bead dangle charms on there and a little piece of chain. And the beads are little pearls. Like I said, this wraps around a few times. So it's going to just take me a minute <laughs> to get it to come undone. So I'll put this to the side a second and show you the snippet roll. Obviously this can be removed and used in your projects. Um, like I said, it wraps around several times, so you would basically you could cut it down to the size you needed it to be to wrap around the journal and then use the other pieces in your project. So I wanted it to be big enough that you could do that, still use it as a closure if you wanted to, um, but still be able to use plenty of it in your projects. So I've added a lot of flowers and sequences and beads and buttons and obviously lace and um, ribbons and pearls and just all around trims and I've made these shabby chic flowers out of um, snippets as well and I've got some vintage lace kind of layered throughout as well and lots of beautiful buttons and appliques and just lusciousness. I, I'm so, so chuffed myself. I've never made a snippet roll. This is my first one and I am very proud of myself. I think it came out beautiful. Um, so there's a lot of firsts in this journal. Um, I have some raggedies in here that again I've never made before. Um, so that's another one of my shabby chic flowers. If you'd like a tutorial on these let me know and I would be happy to do that for you. Um, I tried to find a really shabby chic flower and I couldn't find one so I ended up just making up my own. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so here is the journal and I have decorated, it's a fabric hardback journal and I've decorated the front with a shabby chic type flower that I've made and I've got a, can you even see this? I'm trying to get in without hitting the camera. If I'll just lie it flat, hold on. Is that better? There we go. Um, so yeah, I've made a shabby chic flower here and I've added some pearls and a little camel, cameo, however you say it. And then I've got some ivory ribbon and some pearls just hanging down from the top of it, or the back of it rather. And then I've got a few different um, flower appliques and then I've got this um, bridal applique 
with one of my hairs. There we go. <laughs> Bridal applique over the front. And I've got this beautiful lace sort of um, a board, like a border all the way around, right round the back as well. And there goes my little tray. <laughs> Just pop that out of the way. And then I've got this gorgeous, um, I honestly don't know what it's called, um, fabric here. And I've um, gathered it all the way around again to the back. So that goes all the way around. And then I also have this lace here on either side. So it's easier to see it on the back because there's nothing in the way. And then I've got these beautiful roses all the way down the spine. It is a hidden binding. Oh, it is probably not that heavy, but um, a weakling. <laughs> So I'm going to kind of just push you back a little touch so that I can kind of get this closer. So on the first page, as you go in, I've got some shabby chic roses up the top here. And then I have this lace page here with a little pocket tucked in here. And I have three note cards that are fabric backed. And they are on that beautiful handmade cotton paper that I just love and I've stitched all the way around them and left the little laces. There is a lot of laces hanging from this journal. Um, I would show you them but it would not require lifting the journal up a little bit higher than I'm capable of doing. Um, so I've got a little piece of applique here, some double layered lace here and then some layered here and then this pops open like so and I have another pocket here and this is a little journal and it has a parchment paper in it and I've bound that with some lace and that just pops in like that and it is just a little pop button there and then over onto the next page we have some ledger paper and I've got some of these beautiful stickers throughout and um, they are not acetate the other one that I can never remember, like tracing paper basically. Um, so this is from a vintage Midnight Midsummer's Night's Dream book and I've just added a little lace pocket on the front with a piece of applique and then this is a little pocket here and there's nothing inside it, it's just a little pocket and then another one of those little journaling cards that I've added the beautiful fabric to and it's the Indian handmade cotton paper. And then hanging from this little bead dangle, which looks like this, I have this little tag. So you can write on the back and it's got a little bulb pin up the top and I've just embellished on the front. A little shabby chic embellishment on the front there. And that's just held in place with that little bead dangle. So I have another um, sticker there and then I've just embellished onto this page here so I've got a double layer of lace down here and another one of those shabby chic roses and I've just done some embellishing basically and it's a double pocket a triple pocket here so we have a couple of well, a journaling card and a vintage tea card that has this cute little little girls on it and then in this pocket here I have a large well, a decent sized tag that's backed onto tea dyed paper. And then in the back here, I have a little coin envelope that I made. And then just tucked inside, I've made some little teeny tiny tags out of washi tape. And they're just backed onto lined note cards. And that just tucks in the back there. And then I have some pink hand dyed paper here as well. A lot of the pages are edged with lace and we do have a large variety of pages. This is that Indian handmade paper as well. And then I've just done some embellishing on this tuck spot here and I've just um, sewn some lace to a tag and added some lace at the top. And then in this little bag here, I have a vintage advertisement just tucked inside there and 
and there's some composition paper, a large envelope with a large digi print and a beautiful lady on a postcard tucked in there and then another one of those beautiful stickers in this pocket I just have a little sort of journaling card tucked in there it's more of that beautiful handmade paper and then here I've done a sort of collage so I've made a little sort of dress out of this purple doily and then I've got another doily here as a pocket with a large tag made out of a digi print tucked in there another one of those beautiful flowers and some more beautiful stickers and then this pops open and we have a large lace pocket here and this was a little idea I had when I was making my friend's wedding journal and what I did was I sandwiched a piece of lace between two pieces of tracing paper but then I thought I would put acetate on one side so that you can really see the lace but you can still write on the tracing paper so I think that's just a beautiful way of showing the lace but also making it functional so that's tucked it in there and then I've got one of my distressed envelopes and another large um, digi print journaling card there and then a bunch of extra journaling pages here and obviously you can still journal on the page there and it is just those little pop buttons and it's a really good hidden journaling spot so again some more tea dye paper and then here I have a large digi print as well which I have used as a pocket a, two, a double pocket rather so again we have two of those journaling cards that I've stitched with fabric onto the handmade paper it's another um, Midsummer's Night's Dream page <clears throat> this is a tag that again I decorated in a sort of shabby chic way so I put a little corset at the top and then gave her a really shabby skirt and I've put a little piece of applique and a little love heart on the side and then on the side of the tag we have some flowers and then a little pearl piece here that's holding some lace and that's just held in place with this little clip this is probably going to take a while guys I'm very sorry but again I have another one of those stickers down the bottom another one here and then another one of my shabby chic tags again it's held on by a little bead dangle and again I've just decorated and embellished the front of it and it can be journaled on the back and it's got a little bulb pin there as well and that's just slipped on the page I did kind of stagger them up the pages just so that when the beads were hanging out they were staggered rather than all in the one place so again I have a little sticker there and another one here and again it's more beautiful lace along the edges so I have another one of my tuck spots that I decorated and again some lace that I have stitched it to a tag and left the beautiful little tails hanging down a lot of the stitching is done with this sort of deep pink um, string thread <laughs> um, some of it's done with brown some of it's done with light pink and some of it's done with a deep sort of mauve pink I love that lace um, so here is a glassine bag that I decorated and this is a little lace pocket in the front here with a little journaling card tucked in there and then on the inside I have a fabric postcard so again it's the same fabric that I used for the journaling cards but I've put it on a postcard which I have distressed and again that's on a little or a large bead dangle here and so and it's got a little love heart bead dangle at the bottom which I love and that's just on the side of the page like so and then in this little bag I have a piece of ephemera and then I have an altered guest check 
as a top here and I've got a large journaling card in there from a digi kit and a typewriter sticker down the bottom there and then this is one of my envelopes that come all the way out so it comes all the way out like so and inside I have placed a vintage advertisement I think it's no it's, I think it's a music page actually it just looks like an advertisement because of the dancers <laughs> I think I'll pop that away later <laughs> um, so into the middle of the signature I have decorated with a digi kit here so this is a double pocket um, and I have some handmade paper tucked in here and a letter page tucked in the other side and then I've taken a little picture of flowers and put it on the inside of this frame and I've made a large um, lace pocket here with a couple of journal cards as well and then I've just stamped an image here I've got one of my little cameos on a metal filigree and then this is a vintage doily which I have been hoarding for a really long time and I've finally finally decided to give it up and I've put a little um, flower on the front of it and then I've just made a little notepad and I love this paper it's got such beautiful images on every single page um, and it's got a sort of pink sheen to it as well um, so I've just put lace along the spine of that <clears throat> another little sticker and this one's a beautiful bird cage I um, don't have anything in that bag and then more handmade paper so this is my first um, that's upsetting, my first raggedy <laughs> um, so it's the first raggedy I've ever made and I tried to keep it very shabby chic and theme with the book so I'm very very pleased with how it's come out um, and obviously the back you can see all the hand stitching and the machine machine stitching as I've obviously stitched in some buttons and I've just done some hand crosses as well um, another one of those stickers and this is handmade purple hand dyed purple paper rather another little sticker on this ledger paper this is a vintage um, dictionary page from a French dictionary and this is some vintage music paper and I love how these stickers came out because they're just black and white and they look almost like someone sketched onto the page which I think is just beautiful so I've got a wee vintage lady down there and this is another one of my embellished tags and again it's you can write on the back and it's on a little bead dangle again um, so there is five signatures in this book um, it is the largest book I've ever made oh, um, so this has got a huge tag for journaling in this large um, digi print pocket and then another dictionary page there and a um, book page piece of ephemera sorry about that I had to take a little break um, so if the camera's moved in any way I apologise um, I tried to kind of keep it exactly where it was but pushing buttons kind of moves it so sorry about that um, so moving on <laughs> Um, I've just done a sort of collage style pocket system here so I've got three coin envelopes and they each have little digi tags tucked inside them and they're all distressed and have lace as the little tabs I have one of those Tim Holtz book um, plates and this one says she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes um, obviously you could cover that with your own thing and then I've just collaged on all three of these. I have a note card down here that I have um, punched the edge out of. 
and I've just put this beautiful image down here and then I've made a couple of little flowers up the top here and that's another one of Shakespeare's Midsummer's Night's Dream another one of those beautiful stickers a large envelope with a large digi print and a little postcard tucked in there with a really pretty image and that and then here I also have the bookmark which is underneath the book typically um, so this obviously dangles out the top and the bottom and it's got this beautiful um, crocheted lace and it's got both charms and bead dangles so on this side we have this beautiful love heart bead dangle and then this beautiful long bead dangle with a charm on the end as well and then this one as well has a beautiful rose and then another bead dangle here as well with these gorgeous colour changing beads that I just love and then we have this little bird cage this um, love note scroll a love heart and a bow a little pink bow there and a little star and then on the other side we have a little plaque here that says live laugh love a little eiffel tower a large bead dangle here with another rose hanging off of it and again it's those like color changing beads um, this one here that's got this beautiful stone here another large bead dangle again beautiful beads on that um, one of those little mirrors a little butterfly a little pearl flower and a key and the key says love so that just kind of sits here or wherever you want to put it um, as a little bookmark and then here I have another one of those glassine bags that I've decorated and again this little coin roll, a vintage coin roll is a little pocket so I have a little tag tucked in there with a little ball chain as the tag bit <laughs> um, and then inside I have one of those lace postcards that I've distressed and stitched around and that's just held in place with another little bead dangle paper clip. And another bit of that Midsummer's Night's Dream. Another one of those acetate and tracing paper um, tags. And again, it's been stitched around. And I've got some beautiful crochet lace at the top. And then I've got a embellished paper clip here and that's just holding this little guy closed. So it's just a little corner tuck but I've added some extra journaling pages there. And that just slips on like so. If you're not shaky like me, <laughs> it's super easy. And um, it's more handmade, um, it keeps saying handmade, hand dyed paper. Um, another one of those bags and inside I have a vintage playing card and a little um, tracing paper pocket that I've made and I've hand dyed that pink as well and I've just popped a little journaling card on the inside another vintage dictionary page a little sticker up there and another one down there um, another one of my little embellished tucks and I have a lace stitched tag in there as well some more of those beautiful stickers and then another embellished tag here and again you can journal on the back and it's got a little bead dangle paper clip holding it onto the page like so obviously the paper clip can come off the tag and um, some vintage music paper another little sticker here and here and then I have a double pocket here. So I have a vintage tea card here. And I think that's like the queen or something. It's a cigarette card, sorry, not a, it's our king and queen. So it's the king and queen that's on there. And it's a cigarette card, not a tea card, sorry. And um, another little coin envelope 
that I have made and inside I've got another couple of those little washi tape journaling cards that I've made and then tucked in the back I have a large journaling card that's very similar to the washi tape journaling cards which I thought was quite funny and then I have a beautiful piece of applique here some vintage lace um, a little bit of a uh, crocheted lace and a cameo and a Tim Holtz stamp there and again another little sticker there some more of that hand dyed paper some more um, dictionary paper and I haven't distressed this in any way or tea dyed it this is completely naturally aged um, so a piece of ephemera tucked in this little baggie here and then I have one of those um, sort of tipping paper clips so it's not holding anything in place it's just there to look pretty um, and that's on a vintage book page which I have a um, washi taped to another vintage book page and then another one of those little bags but it has nothing in it and um, another little sticker on that vintage dictionary page and a little sticker here some more vintage music paper and then I've done a sort of collage on this page or these pages as well. So this is a fabric envelope and it's two different types of fabric. And then on the inside I have a sort of women's clothing advertisement piece of ephemera. Just tucks in there and then in the back I have another one of those acetate and tracing paper tags. And this has got a little flower and a little metal embellishment embellishment on it that says all you need is love. And then I've got some um, sort of shabby chic flowers at the top and a little sticker. And then I have a metal filigree here that's acting as a little tuck spot for this little tag with some lace. And another little um, flower here. And then this little tag kind of holds these pages in place but also holds this closed. And it's like a little photo frame and you can remove this tag so it comes out of this little slit up here so you could put your own image in there and remove the tag or write on the tag and then put it back in um, and that just puts in there another little image at the top there another one of my little tags and again you can journal in the back and remove the paper clip and this one says dream and again it's got a little bead dangle sorry I forgot to show you that but it does have a little bead dangle there so another um, full page digi kit and again I just got those journaling cards on the handmade paper um, Indian cotton paper with the fabric stitched on the back Another little sticker down here and here is my second raggedy. So I think this was the first one I made actually. Um, I really like how it came out. And again you can see all the hand stitching and the um, machine stitching on the back. Obviously you could put a piece of paper on this and use it as a large journaling card or you could stick it in and use it as a pocket or you could cut it into it and use it as several pockets. It's entirely up to yourself. Um, this will, this book will be up for sale in my Etsy shop by the time this video airs. So a large book page there and another sticker on this hand dyed paper. Another little glassine bag here and it's got a little bead dangle hanging off it as well that's just holding it in place. And then it's a little pocket here on this doily and it's got a beautiful image on the front as well and then tucked in here we have another one of those postcards and again that's just held in place with this little big dangle paper clip another little sticker there some more vintage dictionary paper and vintage music paper some graph paper um, so here I've got a little grommet holding in some more pages. So this is a, it's like tracing paper. I cannot remember what it's called. Um, and then I've got a few 
letter pages two different letter pages and obviously you can still journal on the actual paper underneath and I've just reinforced this hole as well so that shouldn't rip away or anything like that and then a large envelope with a large note card in it and I love this paper oh there's something else in there and a little stamped image journal card card <laughs> but yeah I love this um, I think it's Stamparina or something like that um, another vintage music page with a sticker another one of my little tuck spots and a lace stitch tag another vintage dictionary page with a little image down there and another little image and then another little pocket corner tuck with the acetate and tracing paper and again this slips up for extra journaling space and another book page piece of ephemera and another little sticker there and a little sticker here and then on the very back of the book we have this lace enclosure and it's a beautiful beautiful piece of lace it's like a very pale pink piece of lace and then these both flip open and it's a envelope can you see that no I might be able to show you with this one so it's an envelope and they're both exactly the same so they have a little bit of lace around the rim and then inside I have one of my vintage style envelopes and I have a few die cuts and images in here to help decorate your book and then I have a little postcard that I've um, distressed and added some um, scrapbooking paper too so they just tuck right in there and they're quite big envelopes and the same on the other side try not to push the book off <laughs> so it's exactly the same on the other side in this envelope we have um, two double sided journaling cards Again, those just tuck in that large envelope. And then in this little belly band here, I have made this. I'm just going to close that over so it's a bit easier for me. I have made this sort of envelope style journal. And I kind of wanted it to look like a vintage clutch. So I have this beautiful um, it's the same fabric that's on here I honestly don't know what it's called but it's like netting but it's so soft and um, so I've just tied that into a little bow and it wraps all the way around well one piece wraps all the way around and then on the front of the envelope I've added some beautiful lace here and then I've also stitched some pearls along it and then we've got some lace here with some roses and then along the spine I have this beautiful um, like leaves basically and then I have some vintage lace going along the brim and then on the inside it has a double pocket so it has a pocket on either side of the pages and I have edge cut edge punched sorry <laughs> um, this beautiful scrap paper and attached tea dyed paper to the back of it and I've done the same on the other side of this pocket here so there's two pockets and it's covered in this beautiful lace and then I've also got lace at the top and then there's a beautiful lace going around the rim as well and then it's got two signatures of just a selection of papers throughout and again that just ties closed with the larger piece wrapping around and then tying to the other piece and then that just goes straight back into that little belly band and the little belly band is a piece of lace as well and it has beautiful rhinestones all the way along it and then I have that gorgeous fabric on the back that I've been using on the tags that I just absolutely love that fabric I think it's absolutely stunning um, and that just sits in there like so 
and then the lace just holds it in place. So obviously it's quite a bursting um, journal. Obviously if you were to remove all of the removable pieces it would be a lot less bustling and it does lie completely flat for journaling and it does have high signatures so it is a bit of a chunky monkey but I absolutely love it and I'm very very pleased with how it turned out as my first ever shabby chic journal and I hope you guys really liked it too. I'd love to hear your comments down below um, on what you think and like I said all the links will be in the description bar below if you're looking to purchase this or any of my other journals. Um, I do sell other things on my Etsy as well if you want to have a little look. But if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll hopefully see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!